Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Heading over to the Cinemark 16 here in Gulfport, Mississippi. Gonna go check out the Maze Runner. Scorch Trials. Been waiting for this one, man, for quite some time. Um, I enjoyed the first movie. And they still have security out here from Compton. You know, if you guys uh, watched it out of Compton, there was really a need for security. Yeah, right. But uh, that guy's still here. Anyway, um, yeah, I was, uh, I, I really liked um, the Maze Runner. So it's going to be interesting to see what they're able to do with um, this this next little uh, little movie, okay? So what I want to park is next to the light, just so I can get a good protection of my car. Security guy looked like he was on his phone, so. So we'll see. Looks like there's a group also joined and gathered right there. Not if you can see them with the tent, but they're there. And other than that, man, I'll get in here, I'll watch it, and then I'll have a review posted. So I just finished watching The Maze Runner, and I'm like the only car... <laughs> I'm like the only car that's out here. This is crazy. <laughs> There's nobody else out here. No one came to watch the Maze Runner. <laughs> that is nuts, man. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just finished watching the Maze Runner Scorch Trials, and um, it was pretty good, man. It was pretty good. I was I was uh, very impressed with what the uh, Scorch Trials actually gave us, man. Um, I didn't know. I didn't know it was gonna end like that. I, I didn't I didn't know that, and, and that was very surprising. It was very uh, it was scary. It was a scary movie, you know. And but I mean, I get frightened over you know the the smallest <laughs> the smallest things, man. And, and you can check this out, guys. There's no one here. There's, there's no one here. There's no one. Like, <laughs> there's nobody there right now. I came out of the theater and, like, I'm the only person that was in the theater, man. There was, like, probably the projectionist. That was about it. I don't even know if they have that anymore, man. Uh, the digital digital movie guy, whatever they call it now. Um, I don't think there's actually anybody up there with the reels and stuff. Um, you know what I keep noticing at this uh, theater is that for some reason... The uh, the focus is off, you know. And whenever the focus is off in the in the movie, you can actually see where the uh, CGI, you know, where it's real and fake, man. Um, I love the movie though. I love this movie. Um, I give it a rating of uh, <clears throat> nine point five out of ten stars. And the reason why I can't give it ten out of ten stars, man, this is my second time watching it, and it still hasn't changed. And um, I'm gonna go check it out in IMAX. And I just, cause I, I want to see if if what where I think that the IMAX screen comes into play is in the desert scenes. And there's this one scene, and I want to I want to ruin or spoil anything, but there's this one scene where um, something happens to two of the characters, and it's it's so intense. I'm pretty sure the IMAX projector opens up and it shows you just how how massive and enormous this uh, this scene is. Um, I loved I loved it, man. I I, I had a blast. Uh, there was there was moments in the film where it seems as if the uh, the, the the director was uh, trying to was trying to like give you moments where if you read the book you you would have known what was going on you know it, it's it was just, there was a couple of slow moments where it was just like yo you know if you read the book well here's a nod to that you know and it was uh it was fun man I really I had a really great time watching this movie man I can't say anything bad about it. Um, the only bad thing is uh, towards the end, man. It seems as if they put all of the action at the beginning and at the at the end, but some of the the moments were, you know, like when when uh, when something happened to a certain character, you know, it's you didn't really care that much about the character because there wasn't any emotion inside of that scene or emotion that I could see. I just laughed like I don't know twenty or thirty times. You know, um, as I was, uh, you know, watching the film, man, it was it was pretty funny the way that uh, that they decided to go that way, and I, I don't know why they did it, but I mean, 
I don't know. I laugh at a lot of stuff anyway, but they could have, you know, probably, you know, shot that one again, maybe. Quite possibly they should have. <laughs> um, the, 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 uh, the, the desert scenes were the best for me. And I think that this movie should have come out in the summer. I really think that it was one of those summer blockbusters, you know, that has you on the edge of your seat, man. It really does have you on the edge of your seat. And um, I remember in the uh, with the Maze Runner, you know, you're running through the maze and those 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 doors were closing and stuff. They had this moment where one of the doors, and we saw this in the trailer, so there's no no spoilers. And there's this door that's closing as a uh, as he's trying to get away from Littlefinger, and Littlefinger is chasing after him, and he slides underneath this door. And, and I'm telling you, I don't, I don't know if the door was fake, but if, if he would have been a second, you know, slower, you know, he's, he's dead. He's dead, man. So I don't know. I don't know if it was real or not. I got to go, you know, get the, the, the Blu-ray and look at the behind the scenes and stuff like that. Maybe the door was, was CGI. Who knows? But he slid underneath that bad boy. I can't believe he made it, man. It was crazy. And um, I, I want to know, here's my thing. What came first? Uh, the Last of Us? Or this movie, okay? So, so is Naughty Dog is Naughty Dog gonna sue these guys for these uh, these zombie things, these infected people? Because it seems as if I was playing, you know, watching on the big old TV, you know, on the big screen, the big, um, you know, flat screen, awesome, amazing theater screen, man. Um, the Last of Us. That's what it seems. It seems as if I was watching a live action, real movie of The Last of Us, which is in the develop development right now. And that's what I want to know, man. Um, this movie was Jurassic Park. Um, the um, The Last of Us. What was that other movie with uh, with Will Smith? I'm so, man, I had it in my mind. Um, Last Man on Earth. Uh, what was it called, man? Hold on, let me get the name of that and I'll be right back. Yeah, I Am Legend. So you had The Last of Us, Jurassic Park... Um, I Am Legend, and, um, it seems as if there was another film I was thinking of, like Prince of Persia, and a couple of others that were inside the movie, um, that it kind of, you know, kind of borrowed from, you know, as far as, you know, giving a nods to pop culture and stuff like that. Um, the runtime with this movie, I believe, was like two hours and some change. Let me go ahead and check real quick, because when I got finished, and I arrived about 15 minutes early... So let me see. If I was looking at that, da, 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 da. yeah, about two, about two hours, about a two-hour movie, and um, I, uh, yeah, about two hours and, and maybe three minutes. That's what I, what I have on my clock, and um, I had a good time, man. I had a good time. I think that if you um, like the the Maze Runner, then you'll like the uh, you know Scorch Trials, man. That was pretty cool. Um, I don't want to spoil too much in this one, man, so let me uh, stop, because then after that, I'm going to start my uh, spoiler uh, field one, so let me go ahead and do that right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the movie, man, 9.5 out of 10 stars, I watched it twice, I'm going to watch it again, um, this is one of those movies where it just doesn't get old, man, it really doesn't, and you, you, you know, when you watch it, there's always something new that you'll find, man, um, for me, the, uh, the, the creep factor with the, uh, the zombie people was most interesting. And it was almost like he had, like, a, another movie in its own, man. And I would like to see that. I would like to see, you know, I don't know, maybe, like, a spinoff or something um, to where you see, if you see who, you know, what happened inside of that location, you know, uh, where the, where that thing happened inside of there. I'm not going to ruin it, but what happened there to where, you know, they came after the events happened. What happened there, you know? That's what I want to see. I want to see that, you know? Other than that, man, that's it, man. And I love the introduction to the movie. I want to say that, too. The intro to the movie was awesome, man. It really was. And it definitely reminded me of I Am Legend. It was almost like borrowed straight up, you know, scene by scene from I Am Legend. The only thing I was missing, it was, uh, you know, was Will Smith. You know, they, they replaced Will Smith with a woman. And it's, yeah, pretty much I Am Legend, man. Right here, guys. And uh, that's it.